and welcome back to the channel on this beautiful afternoon temperature at 60 degrees let's go for a ride on the lyric graffiti and on this video I want to talk about something that's controversial and it shouldn't be it should be up to the riders discretion on what they want to do but what I'm talking about is why do I have to pedal an e-bike so some people seem to think that because it's an electric bicycle you have to pedal it you can't just throttle so I want to give my opinion on that not that I'm right or that I'm wrong but just my opinion and if you've got a comment to uh, add yourself to this uh, topic then please go right on ahead and put your comments in the uh, in the comments below now, this is not to start any uh, feud or anything because I think all the answers might be correct in their own way but as far as I look at it, here's, here's my look, uh, take on it. My take is simply this. If you want to pedal, pedal. If you want to just throttle, just throttle. And if you want to do both, do both. I like personally to do both. I like to throttle sometimes. I like to pedal sometimes. Sometimes it depends on my situation, where I'm at. And also for me, it kind of depends sometimes on which bike I have. I'm riding and maybe not everybody has multiple more than one bike but um, so for me right now I'm on the Lyric Graffiti this bike to me is a throttle bike which I'm doing right now I'm throttling here with the thumb throttle and then I have a Rad Rover with that bike that's pretty much a pedal bike I pedal with that one I have uh, done a little bit of throttle only but basically I like to pedal that one and my preference on that bike is uh, pedal assist 3 I really like pedal assist 3 on the uh, on the Rad Rover and then I've got the Lyric or the, I've got the uh, Aerial Rider Grizzly and that bike I like to do both sometimes I'll pedal sometimes I'll throttle and It depends on the situation where I'm at and uh, especially if I'm on a, a bike path I like to uh, usually like to pedal and I'm not a fast rider on the on a bike path sharing with others I generally keep uh, below or around at maximum 15 miles an hour and any bike trails that I've been on uh, don't there's no stretch of bike trail that you can actually ride that would be long enough and straight enough to see that nobody else is coming to be able to allow yourself to go any faster anyway um, usually what I'm on there's other people on there um, pretty much every time and then the other thing is also Uh, there's a lot of curves and you don't know who's coming around the corner kind of deal so I pretty much stick to uh, uh, slower speed on that and I don't think you're supposed to exceed I don't know what the speed limit is on the uh, on the bike trails probably 15 to 20 miles an hour and it'd be pretty hard to get up to 20 miles an hour but everybody rides differently like if you're riding on the road here like this Especially if there's no bike lane, then I, I tend to throttle for sure and I want to go a little bit quicker to keep up with traffic if I have to. Assuming that the speed is not, I'm not having to go too, too fast. But I know there are people out there that really despise anybody uh, using a throttle, but heck, that's one of the reasons why there's a throttle on these bikes so you have a choice 
you know, maybe maybe you're riding long distance and you need to take a break from pedaling, you know, and, and your legs cramp up on you or who knows what, right? And uh, the throttle gives you that option, but I don't think that you have to just pedal or have to just throttle. Depending on your bike, I mean, there are bikes out there that do not have a throttle, but that's fine. I guess you buy whatever bike you like, but I don't think we should be criticizing someone uh, if they only throttle. Um, I don't think, as long as they're not doing crazy things on their bike, um, you know, uh, I don't think it's a real problem if somebody wants to throttle, but um, let me know in the comments what you think of that. I, I don't hear that too much, but once in a while, you know, you'll hear, it's, it's not in person, like when I'm out riding, I've not really heard anybody say anything to me, but sometimes online, you know, people will make comments a little bit, or I've seen other not so much on my videos, but on other other people's videos where um, they really give it to them because they're using throttle only and not pedaling. And yeah, there are some bikes that are completely not for pedaling. You know, they're set up in a way that they're not for pedaling, but you know what? I don't see a problem with that. If that's the kind of bike you want, you buy that bike. If you want to buy a bike that is pedal friendly, then you buy that bike. If you want to buy a bike that's kind of a little bit of both, then you buy a bike that you can pedal and also throttle. I think if you wanted to criticize somebody, you might more be into, if you want to criticize people for things that might be more for modifying the bike, you know, taking it way beyond what it should be. Maybe that's more um, what you could criticize, but I don't think, I don't think you really have to pedal, you know, maybe some people are just physically not able to pedal, but they want to get out and they don't want to obtain a motorcycle license. You know, they just want to ride a, a bike. And this gives everyone the option, you know. Uh, if your health does not permit you to ride, but you still want to get out there and you can get on and balance the bike and handle it, you know, in all other aspects that you need to do, then um, I think it's great that people, you know, um, more people can get out there. This allows people that can't pedal a regular traditional bike maybe to uh, be able to get out there and do some uh, riding. And uh, so that's just my take on it. I, I think it's up to you, the rider. If you want to, if you want to uh, buy a bike that's pedal only or pedal assist or just strictly throttle, that's that's your choice. I mean, I'm just appreciative that we have choices and we can do what we want. Uh, and ride, you know, right? Let's just all ride safely, you know, and, and, um, and let's all get along and enjoy the ride. That's, that's, that's the way I look at it. But I, I would like to hear from others and what your opinion is on that. What do you, are you uh, totally into pedal assist only? Do you uh, even have a bike that has a throttle? Or do you just throttle and don't pedal at all? You know, you're not the, the shall we say you're not the, you know, you're not in it for pedaling. That's your choice. Nobody uh, criticizes uh, like a kick scooter, your uh, electric kick scooter. You're not pedaling on that, you know. And so I think, I think the bike is your choice. 
you buy it for what you want it to, to be and make sure you get you know the one that's right for you uh, whether it's pedal assist throttle only or pedal only you know but it, it is an interesting topic that you know, I know the traditional uh, cyclists are gonna completely weigh in on the uh, on the uh, pedal only uh, side but that's fine I mean we all are entitled to opinions and Bike lane ends right here, so I'm going to scoot over here with the traffic in the road. It's a little on the windy side here today, but it is a beautiful day, 60 degrees right now. I mean, you can't beat that. Lots of... Uh, yucky stuff in the uh, in the bike lane that's being kind it's sometimes it's hard to pick up with the camera but there's a lot of rocks and sticks and stones and glass a bit of everything gets rubber from tires you get a bit of everything pine cones Yeah, I do want to make a turn here, but I'm going to let the school bus go by us. Uh, well, it looks like another car coming. But yeah, if you've got a an opinion on this topic, by all means, uh, hit us up and let us know in the comments. What your take is on whether to, you're supposed to pedal, not pedal, either or. Are you like me that it's up to the individual rider? Do you agree with that? Where it's your choice. If you want to do some pedaling and some throttling or all one or the other or just pedaling, totally up to you. That's the way I look at it. And it is up to you uh, whether somebody has a different opinion or not. It's not going to or shouldn't change your mind, but I'm just wondering overall what people think. What majority, is there a majority one way or the other, or is everybody pretty much on all sides for this one? Anyway, it's a topic that I've been thinking about for a while, and I thought, you know, let's go talk about it and see what others think about it. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video on the channel. I want to thank everyone for coming along on this uh, ride. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified as to when the next video is on. As the wind down there knocks me over there. Uh, also, if you'd like to purchase this bike, I do have a link in the descriptions. And I have a code if you use the Discount code, all one word, Oregon E-Biker Mark. That'll save you $150 on the Lyric Graffiti. That's Oregon E-Biker Mark. Saves you $150 on this Lyric Graffiti. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video.
and until next time. Take care.